How are you guys doing? A lot of cameras, man. Yeah. So, in the last season, how will the season of On the New Winchester Brothers Legacy? How will what? The last season honor the Winchester Brothers Legacy. Well, that's sort of you're asking me what the ending is. It's a sly way of doing it. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to tell you that. I, I think the legacy of the show will be that we've worked hard for 15 years, that our audience has always been apparently satisfied with the work we've done, you know, with the shifting tides of, of what the story has become. Um, so, you know, I think it's... Um, I think the idea that, you know, we, we know where we're going, we're going to tell an end to this 15-year drama, and doing that at our, you know, at our choice, um, and, you know, I wouldn't say going out on top because you know, we don't have the biggest audience in the world, but we have probably the most faithful audience, and just, you know, but they'll be happy. We hope that we're satisfied that people have stuck with us all these years. So about the, okay. Sorry, Classic Rock is a huge part of Supernatural, obviously. Can you tease, or is there anything we should look forward to for next season? Are we going to get some Zeppelin, or any... Are you guys working? the second person who's asked that to me? Is Zeppelin, look, Zeppelin it's is, important. I know. <laughs> Zeppelin is expensive. <laughs> yeah, we've looked Can we crowdfund this for you? Let's be real. <laughs> uh, you know, the songs are always... You know, we hope that the songs are... You know, really fit whatever the, the situation is. Yeah. Uh, if there's a perfect Zeppelin song and we have to stretch the budget this year, we'll go after you know Zeppelin. Sometimes these bands don't even want you to use their music. Sure. Um, sure. You know, Kansas has been great to us. Bob Seger's been great to us. Um, you know, we'll try for Zeppelin. We'll see what happens. You, know. you can't tell us how the season ends. Can I tell cannot. Us how it no. Stops? Ooh. How it starts? Yeah, well, we pick up. up we pick up where we left off. Like I don't know dead it's, on the beat, where you leave off. It's it's, it's moments later. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a real problem for the guys who had to get out of this, <laughs> out of this particular mess. You know, when I saw what Phil did, I said, "Thanks a lot, Phil. This is going to be interesting." Um, but I think we've come up with a, a fun way to, to deal with it. Um, it's going to take us probably. Three episodes to let the dust settle of what that ending was. Um, we have certainly some housekeeping to do with the relationship between Dean and Cass, which is been fractured. Yeah. Um, but I think this, you know, the opening run that we've had, we, you know, we've gotten six scripts in so far. Right? Um, I think we're on the right track. Um, we kind of know where the story's going, but we don't have the specifics of it. We, we know how it ends. You do know you've locked in the ending. We have locked in the ending, but if I tell you, I have to kill you. No, I, know. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get spoiled. No, no, it's, this is going to be it's this is going to be a well kept secret. You spoke about the loyalty of the fan base earlier. Through all the trials and tribulations, the Winchesters and Cass, has there been a scariest moment where y'all were afraid we wouldn't follow? Well, the audience wouldn't follow? Yeah. yeah. We think about that all the time, but we don't, you know, one thing we, you know, that we try to do is not be influenced by what we might read on social media or what fan letters are coming in. We, you know, we're not going to be guided by the fans. We just want to tell the best stories uh, we can. Um, you know, we know that, you know, conflict is good drama. You can't have good drama without conflict. So that conflict is going to come between people that, uh, you know, the audience likes. And if some fan is unhappy with the way we treated Cass, you know, they'll probably stick around and see how we redeem him or, you know, whatever. I, I, this came really apparently to me, uh, came back one year and there were two fan letters sitting on my desk. And I opened up one and it said, um, Last season was totally Dean-centric. You didn't give Sam enough story. <laughs> if Sam doesn't have a better story this year, then I'm not watching anymore. And I know, okay, put that letter down. Next letter was, this season was totally Sam-centric. You, you, know, you didn't give Dean a good story, and if less Dean has a good, you know, so you can't make everybody happy. You know, I'm, actually, I'm looking at the letter, well, I must be doing something right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we just try to, you know, kick around story ideas, and we're not afraid to make... 
our principles uh, flaw. I think that's okay, you know, they're, they're heroes in their own way, but, you know, they're, they're not perfect. Um, and I think that's one reason that, that we've lived as long as we have, because there's, you know, they're human. They have human frailties, they make mistakes, they live with their mistakes, but then they always go forward. And I think that's one of the keys to the success of the show. You've driven the character backbone so hard, even as a Oh, I've written three stories. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, a few, but you know what I mean. Yes. I, I know that you, you've been that character element. What have been uh, the moments where you needed to kind of most make sure that something was true to the character, but that the audience wasn't taking that as a positive thing, or the opposite way around, like um, like uh, something that the characters were able to achieve that you uh, sort of almost proud of them for achieving, like a growth that you never expected them to get to? Um, Sorry, I don't know if that makes sense. No, it did, but I, I'm not sure we ever had that um, that concern yeah. um, because they're you know they're, they are flawed characters. Yeah. They have their you know, their foibles. They argue amongst themselves. So we, we never felt like we couldn't uh, just have them be human, make human mistakes. You know, the stakes are very high in what they do. Um, you know, we've taken the story in places where, you know, people go, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. You know, Killing Charlie was a, you know, we had a lot of, a lot of kickback on that. But that's where the story took us. It made for better drama. You know? um, so that's what we always keep in mind. And we don't, um, we don't shy away from, uh, just telling the best story we can. I hope that sort of answers. No, it does. But is there any positive moments where the characters have achieved like a personal growth that you are proud of them to have seen them done? Um, I think there's probably a lot of those. Um, you know, um, I think Dean over the years has become more sensitive in, in, in many ways. Um, certainly, if you look at the evolution of Cass from this kind of hard-ass angel. To someone who has human emotion, that's you know, that's a real character growth. Um, Sam being committed. So uh, yeah, but you know, I don't think you can stay on as long as you stay on without having these characters go through a lot of ups and downs and peaks and valleys. And, you know. what? Thank you.